Hi! In today's video, I'm going to draw myself in the style of one of Hiro Mashima's most popular titles, Fairy Tale. Similar to what Love to Draw Manga and other channels have done. Normally what they do is copy specific body proportions and anatomy and basically trace on top of all the pieces they used so that they won't take so much time to master the art style. It's not like they're stealing anybody's artwork. In my case, I have traced but also not traced at the same time, meaning I've mostly used my eyes to analyze and use reference for my fairy tale counterpart, but I have traced a little bit in the sense of getting a feel of what the art style is like. For the head, most late teens or early adults usually have the same head shapes that Natsu, Lucy, Grey, and Urza have. So that's my head shape. For the eyes, their shapes vary depending on the character. It also gives more to their personality. Most of the girls like Lucy, Levi, and Wendy have more rounder eyes, which give them a more friendly personality. Although, very few have angular eyes, which give them a menacing or maybe a tough personality. Urza and Minerva seem like an example of that. Urza can be bossy, strict, and bad-tempered sometimes, but once you get to know more about her character, you can see how human she is, and she has a caring and feminine side. With Minerva, she at first came off as villainous and ruthless, and that's partly why she had more angular eyes than Urza. For most of the guys, their eyes are more rectangular or oval-shaped. For mine, I based them on greys but less narrow and a little, a little bigger like Natsu's, except they don't have much of an angle. See, taking a voice acting class once, I was told that I have a very guy-next-door kind of personality, which means I would bring, in average, assertive and caring vibe someone that can be easily approached and depended on. So I think the eyes on my fairy tale self fit that best. You know, he's not too exciting or carefree or extroverted like Natsu, but he's not too modest and introverted like Grey. I have not done a big face reveal, but I've landed a couple of acting roles, which include two promos and a web series I'll be filming later this year. Since one of my promos are going worldwide, and the web series will be here on YouTube, I thought I might as well show you a picture of what I look like. If you've seen a couple of my channel trailers, you may notice that a couple fairy tale drawings are featured in them, and that guy with brown hair is a fairy taleized version of myself. So, if you put my picture next to my drawings, I think it works. So now that we've analyzed appearance, what kind of wizard is my fairy tale self? It's based on a fairy tale and male reader insert called The Hidden Dragon by DeviantArt user Phantommaster18. The character starts off as a lightning dragon slayer, but unlike Loxus, he was trained by an actual dragon, and therefore he relies more on traditional dragon slayer techniques rather than artificial dragon slayer magic. He was trained by a wyvern named Ruingal, and so sometimes he is referred to as Wyvern. Throughout the whole story, he unleashes two more elements through Natsu and Wendy. Fire Dragon Slayer magic and Wind Dragon Slayer magic. That means Igneal and Grandina trained him too. If you're a little confused about the whole Wind Dragon Slayer magic thing, since you might be thinking of Sky Dragon Slayer magic, According to Phantom Master, the latter has more defense capabilities, and the former has more offense capabilities. Three elements he uses make him a Tri-Element Dragon Slayer. On top of that, he's portrayed as a big brother figure to both Natsu and Wendy, and if you look at the relationships the reader has with the two, with Natsu, they get along most of the time, and they often back each other up, with only occasional fights and conflicts, and he sometimes beats Natsu when he gets reckless and gung-ho. With Wendy, he basically helps Wendy boost her confidence and overcome her shyness in the Orationse's arc, and he continues to help her grow in following arcs. As for the rest of Fairy Tale, 
He, or my counterpart, gets along with everybody else okay, but he's not one to get into fights at the guild, barge into Lucy's house, or recklessly use his powers the way Natsu does. Since I'm a dragon slayer, you might be wondering who my flying cat, or X-Seed, would be. Still taking inspiration from Phantom Master, my X-Seed is a red cat named Ren. To make him different from Happy, I pictured him to have bushier fur, and he's smarter than him. If you're thinking, hey, what about the blue pegasus guy of the same name? Well, Phantom Master claims to have forgotten about him. But for the Orashionse's arc, it created a scene where both Rens had a brief hug and believed it to be fate to meet. So my fairy tale self would have to have a reaction of, great, now I've got to find a different way to refer to the blue pegasus guy. That is when he has a first impression on one of the Trimens. One thing I like about the Hidden Dragon is that Phantom added some new villains and antagonists to give the reader his own challenges. For example, there's a poser called Shura who travels alongside Bora at the start of the story. For the Orashionse's arc, there's a second-in-command named Spectre. There's also the Edelus version of the reader in, you know, the Edelus arc. In Earthland, he has whatever surname the reader has, but in Edelus, his last name is Blastheart, and he stands alongside Urza Nightwalker. For the Tenro Tree Island arc, the Seven Kin of Purgatory became the Eight Kin of Purgatory, with a man who has fox ears and a tail named Reynard, like the mischievous fox character of the same name from European folklore. Finally, there's an Earth Dragon Slayer named Fang who idolized the Reader and is now a member of the Sabretooth Guild. I could go on and on about all the changes, but you might get the idea. In short, these, these changes had to be made to make room for the new characters and their development around the pre-established ones. Of course, he takes Natsu's position fighting Gajiel when he's a member of Phantom Lord, Jalal in the Tower of Heaven arc, and Loxus in the Battle of Fairytale arc. But Natsu still fights Aragor and Brain, Grey still fights Juvia and Racer, Lucy still fights Bixlow and Angel, Elfman still fights Sol, and the rest of the guild members fight their respective opponents from the OG. I think a lot of male reader insert stories usually have them go from fighting opponent to opponent to opponent to opponent after finishing the other, and he always has to show up when the heroes are about to die, and he ends up having to beat all the villains. It can seem like the reader, in a way, overwrites everybody else, but the Hidden Dragon shows that all the fairy tale wizards are strong in their own way. There's also waifu events at the end of these arcs. Phantom gave readers the option to choose whoever they want to romance. I wouldn't pick Urza because she husband does Jalal. Not Mirajane because I heard possibilities of her with Loxus. Not Kana because I'm not a heavy drinker. Miliana is an option, but I wouldn't pick her either because it would be hard to maintain a long-distance relationship with someone in another guild. And not Lazana because I just didn't think about it. Neither Juvia nor Levy are on the list in addition. So, for me, it's Lucy. It's because she has a very girl-next-door kind of character. She's very intelligent, I like her confidence, and she has to be the sweetest girl in fairy tale. A lot of Nalu shippers probably aren't going to be happy about this, but... She and Natsu were never established to be romantically interested in one another, as Gajil and Levi, Urza and Jalal, even minor duos like Alzac and Biska, Elfman and Evergreen, or Ibiki and Jenny. According to Hiromashima, it was the fan base that took it that way. He says he likes them as greater than just friends, but less than lovers. So, some of you might be wondering what's up with their Edelus counterparts getting married and having a kid together, or all those Nalu drawings if he's not a Nalu shipper. Well, first, 
Edelis is a different world. Second, the kid Natsu Dragian and Lucy Ashley have. Second, the kid Natsu Dragian and Lucy Ashley have was a fan request. In addition, the kid's name is Nashi, and from what I've gathered, one of the definitions, if not only, of the name is nothing. So, that could mean that in Earthland, the main universe, they technically are not getting married or having children. Third, those pictures he draws are just a bunch of random just for fun kind of stuff he makes for his fans. On top of that, just because you hear Mashima say he likes Nalu in interviews doesn't mean he confirmed it as a romantic canon pairing. That could just mean he likes them the way he always wanted them to be since the creation. Greater than just friends, but less than lovers. So for the overall analysis, Peyton is a lightning dragon slayer who is attached to Natsu like a brother. They traveled together over the years looking for Igniel and Ruingal until Master Makara found them and brought them to Fairy Tale. My hobbies are drawing and reading when I don't go on missions. Throughout his journeys with Natsu, Lucy, Ren, Happy, Grey, Urza, Wendy, and Carla, he unlocks two more elements, Fire and Wind Dragon Slayer magic, and continues to grow as an S-Class Wizard and Wizard Saint. He lives right next door to Lucy, and the two get along well, but little does she know he's interested in her. For the picture I drew, it's myself standing between Natsu and Lucy, with the former pounding his fist while preparing a fire attack, and the latter poses with one of her gate keys. For me, I based my pose on Loxus preparing one of his spells, where he positioned his hands in a way that powers it up before he uses it. I thought it was lightning, but I forgot it was actually fairy law. However, mine still looks like a lightning power-up. I tried to think of a pose different than Natsu and Grey using their fists in their hands, so this will do for now. Who knows? I might make an updated version of this in the long run and think of a, another pose, possibly better than this one. Since I created a couple of other drawings before this one, I'll be happy to show them to you as well. If you'd like to give the Hidden Dragon a read, the link is in the description. I'll include the first promo I did as well. I'll try to include the other promo I did when I get the chance to see it. As for my last name, since this is myself in Fairy Tale, it will be revealed in the web series during the end credits. Stick around and I'll keep you all updated when it comes out. Thanks for watching. Next time on this channel, what if anime voice actors had a Marvel role part 3? On the first video, I brought up Todd Haberkorn, Shermie Lee, and Tabitha Ray. And on the second video, I mentioned Chris Sabat, Patrick Seitz, Robert McCollum, and Colleen Clickenbeard.